Well, we just got out of seeing Mirror Mirror, and we're in a little bit of a public spot, so there may be some people walking by or giving us some strange looks. But I didn't even know going into this, it's from the director of the cell. Did you didn't know? Yeah. Yeah. And I think he did like Immortals. I didn't see that. He used to make uh, music videos. He mm -hmm. did REM's Losing My Religion and uh, a whole bunch of things. What did you think of the movie? It was, it was an interesting take okay. on that, you know. It, had some nice it was different. It was like a different type of... Yeah. Photographs at the end were great. I didn't know the guy's work at all. But it's basically the Snow White story. Yeah. Sort of. Like, sort of, sort but of changed in some ways. Name. You don't want to change, like, say any of the no. things. But the best stuff was the dwarfs, I thought. Yeah. Those so were the best great. characters. And it gave them, like, some of those actors that don't get to do big parts, like, a really good, like, good roles in this great. movie. They were great. And the, the one, one was, I think I recognized from in Project X, he, like, gets put in an oven and, like, drives a car into like the pool and stuff and pirates was, of the caribbean yeah I'm he was sure also that. a chiller a couple of the years we oh, went oh wow yeah he's really cool yeah he's funny. but i don't know i thought it was pretty good sometimes julia roberts kind of bugs me though yeah i don't know i'm not really a big julia roberts fan really like no but nathan lane was good and had some funny lines nathan especially Lane's one specific great. line and i'm not going to give it away but it was good yeah, mm -hmm. nathan lane but I, we haven't seen nathan lane in a whole lot of movies no. lately he's sort of been like taken over by like Patton oswald stuff like he sort of like takes his he does a lot of something. theater though. yeah but his best movie is birdcage it's a good movie yeah. i know even though it's a remake like it was still a good i don't know someone's got to start staying some more stuff though like what what, what did you think about they though? like give more around all more... the names of like no, the seven dwarves or whatever I mean... they had new names and like they were real like actiony and like uh sort of bandits that would like you know rob and pillage and take money sort of like robin hood type things mm -hmm. on people and but there was, was a lot of fantasy mm -hmm. yeah, I like that. kind of a girl's there's movie, a lot of snow white but movies but in the credits right there were so many visual effects stuff i That's didn't need because of what's so funny was in some points you don't even notice you know like sometimes when movies do it better you don't notice you know what yeah, i mean the scene where she's looking in that crystal and yeah going into the water and some of that mm -hmm. it's pretty complicated mm -hmm. but sometimes when they do it right like that you know what i mean like it, it okay. works better yeah that's it a cool costume really, work. And it doesn't seem even fake. Yeah, when they do it, in the, you know, it depends. There was like one or two things that were a little weird, but that was it. Yeah. But besides that, the even... Costumes were incredible. I they know that. Done. I think, though, it's worth seeing. I think, you know, out of five stars, probably three, and maybe. I think you could take a kid to it. Yeah. A little kid. Is it, it's PG kid. or is it PG-13? I don't know. Oh, it's only PG. It's PG. If for some reason, I thought it was PG-13. What's funny, cheesy. though, is there's already yeah. another Snow White coming out. Yeah. Right. But well, the, that's the scary We saw scene. that at Comic-Con. Get closer, Dweevo. That's the scary But, but the, scary. the other one is more like a stereotypical, just, you know, this typical Snow White story. Yeah, but yeah. This is more like more done kind of dark. stylized. Right. Wouldn't you say? I would. Now, what would you give it, Dweevo, for stars out of five? Um... Mm, probably close to what you did, I'd say. What about you, Gina? For a fantasy fairy tale, probably four stars. Four? And what about you, Herb? What do you think? Four stars. What do you think? Uh, you know, two and a half, three stars. Yeah, I mean, it started off a little bit boring in the beginning, but it really started picking up no, by about we 20 minutes about in. Yeah, this yeah, year they I have food and food. it takes forever, the and then they forgot the popcorn. I've seen in a while was Twenty One Jump Street and Jeff who lives at home, and I mm -hmm. also liked Salmon Fishing in the M, and I'm that a big Ewan McGregor fan, that was so good. that was enjoyable. That was good. But coming up soon is American, you know, Reunion, and yeah, then Cabin in the Woods, the and there's ones. a whole bunch of stuff I've coming up. I've never out. seen any of them. So yeah. I yeah. So all, all in all, up. though, I definitely would say it was an interesting take on the the Snow White story. Stay through to the end. Yeah. Stay through. That's the best part. Yes, and yeah, so Beautiful certain things credits. at the end. Yeah, yeah, so anyway, though, like we said, check it out. Yeah. You know, it's not anything absolutely amazing, but it's a different take on Snow White. It's a fun it's a cool and even though it was PG, it didn't feel PG. No. I really thought it was PG-13. No. I was surprised. No. Yeah. But anyway, though, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll sure. see you guys later. Okay. See you later. Bye. Bye.